we will be covering react.memo that is app inside my app my parent component inside my parent component i have a child yeah. but unnecessarily still we are going to re-render the print counter one that is my count one Hey guys, welcome to our channel Knowledge Keen and this is your friend Wasim and we are back with a new exciting topic that is react.memo or basically memoization of a component. Okay, we have seen three different things on memoization. So first thing first is use callback, uh, use memo that we already we have seen in the previous video. But now in this topic, we, are, we will be covering react.memo and in the next topic, we will probably cover like uh, use callback. So I'm too excited. I hope you're also excited to learn this topic because this is going to be very easy and it is going to be interesting. So um, you have seen this. We we went to a previous example uh, as we always do. But now we'll be creating a new folder called as memo example, something like this or memo component, memo example. Let's let's create a memo example because in this I'll be creating two components parent component dot js and there will be one more that is child component dot js. So let's create this. We have done this so many times, but still again we are going to do it a few more times. Then we have written. We try to create fragments just in case. I'll just create like h3. This is a parent component loaded, export, default and parent component. The same thing I'm going to do with my child component, child component and child component loading. I'll just close this up in my app component. Now I don't want my use memo, but instead I want parent component from my memo example. Fine, this is the simple things that we did. Parent component is loaded. Here I'll just try to make it a bit smaller. And under my parent component, I'll just create a line and I will load my child component. Simple. So there is app. Inside my app, my parent component. Inside my parent component, I have a child component. See, and just for a bifurcation, I just added one HR horizontal rule so that we clearly can differentiate where we are loading which component that is plain and easy so if you remember i already told the same thing in my previous video i explained this that use memo will cache my um, uh, value of a function but react.memo basically in react.memo we will be caching our component so now we are going to see this how and why we are going to cache uh, this so before we proceed I'll just like to um, give you a brief example that what we are going to do in this. We created basic components, but what exactly we are planning to do. So think it like this, that I have a component, okay, and I have a child component. Now the same thing, parent component and child component. So child component basically comes under my parent component. But if I perform any kind of action, let's take an example. I take, uh, I have taken like one counter or something, okay, a simple count. So if in the parent component, if I increase the value of the count, okay, count that uh, variable, the whole component, the parent component is going to be reloaded. We have seen this, but the parent component is going to re-render. But now my child component is a subset of my parent component. The same thing is going to happen that with my parent, my child component is also going to be re-rendered. Now, did I made any did I make any change in the child component? No, but unnecessarily still we are going to re-render the child component that we are going to see how the same thing. If I again increase the value of my counter, the same thing, my parent component gets re-rendered and with that my child component will also get re-rendered, even though I am not making any kind of change, which is bad now because unnecessarily I am creating the copy or basically I am re-rendering my component in the DOM unnecessarily even though there are no changes made. Now if you, if you think this 
let's right now my child component is very small but if my child component is huge it's very big then unnecessarily my components are getting re-rendered which is probably bad so to avoid this we use react.memo or basically memo function we are going to see how we can write like both the ways there it is just type nothing is changed in the actual coding but it's the way we write it but how we can avoid this using memo in most of the uh, components like material components also they have used react.memo it's a good practice that when you are when you don't want to unnecessarily load the child component okay then you can use react.memo so as my example said I'll, I'll just quickly like create const uh, count one because i'm going to create two counters now come on set count one equal to u state import it let me give you a good space and here i'll simply print counter one that is my count one okay and in the child component i'll just simply add one use effect we have seen this how to write a use effect now i'm not passing any um, square parameters or basically any dependencies because i want to just recheck this reiterate this whenever my child component is changed or updated so simple child component rendered And the same thing I'll probably do in my parent component as well. Use effect. Parent component. Rendered or basically loaded. I'll just add some different message so we can, we can see these changes. If I go here, if I just do a simple refresh, let me zoom this out. See, my child component and my parent component are loaded that's fine but now what change i will make is i will add a button on click i'll just say set i'll not write a handler anymore i'll just say set count to my count one set count one it is count one plus one okay and here um, increase count one okay i added a button increase count one refresh so my child component is rendered my parent component is loaded fine let's see i'm not making any kind of change in my child component but whenever i increase the counter the child component too keeps on re-rendering see here right so this is bad so this is a simple like unnecessarily i'm not making any change but still my child component is getting re-rendered to avoid this simply what we can do is there is not much to be coded the best beautiful thing about react is you have to write less code so i can do i can simply import react as well and i can say react dot memo all in small and I can wrap this whole child component under my react.memo. This will work. See, if I just do a refresh, because I just want to refresh everything. So my child component is loaded, my parent component is loaded. Now if I'm just increasing the counter, only my parent component is re rendered, but my child component is not. Because as I said before, it's cached now. Okay, my child component is cached because there are no changes that are done in the child component and only my parent component is re-rendered. The child component will only be loaded again or re-rendered again if some or the other properties of this child component are changed. Now we are not passing any properties, are we? No, see, we are not passing any kind of properties to the, my child component. Hence, it's plain and simple, we are not making any change and my memoization works to make it a bit i can add mbsp or just add a space i'll just say the same thing i'll just add a 
another counter counter 2 counter 2 okay and counter simply 2 what I did I added another counter added another button still nothing changes because my react.memo is working as it is so irrespective of how many variables I am using and they are, I am changing those until and unless there is something which is changed in my child component my child component will not will not be re-rendered so now what I'll do I'll just do a simple interesting thing I'll just say counter to equal to count to okay and I'll simply pass this to my counter to I'm not I am not using it anywhere okay I'm just passing it I have not even used it in my child component let's see what happens okay I increase the count one only my parent component is rendered because now it has nothing to do with my child component because only counter one is working for the parent component counter two okay it is working in the parent component it is there in the parent component but I am passing it as a prop to my child component 2 so whenever my child component is counter 2 is changed my child will be again re-rendered because now there is some property even though the child component have not used it but I am still passing it okay still my the property is changed hence my child component is re-rendered or reloaded this is the power of memo okay so this was the first way we wrote react.memo we had to import react but if you don't want to import react as well I said I'll show you the other way we have seen this with I think fragments I can simply do this I can simply import it from the react library that's absolutely fine and it will work in the same way okay I hope this was pretty simple with an example I'm trying to explain it as easy as possible and I hope you understood this if you understood this if you loved it please give us a thumbs okay because your thumbs up helps us and um, please subscribe okay you know what to do you have to subscribe so that we can push more and more videos and we can come live soon thank you and hope you enjoy your day bye